Yo, what up? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Jason. So, it's been a minute since I've uploaded anything, and you may be wondering where I've been. Uh, maybe traveling? Partying? Dead? Perhaps I was working on set as one of the breakdancing Kia hamsters. The truth is, it's all of those. Well, it took some time, but I've officially completed my first photo book. It's called The Orb of Confusion, and if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, I'm sorry, but your childhood probably could have been better. I'm extremely proud of it, even if my parents, my coworkers, my friends, and my dog aren't. This is my book, Baxter. I made this. Oh, okay, you've got better things to do. You know, maybe another time. That's fine, you're busy. I get it. This series is composed of 18 photos that feature a reflective orb sitting in frame. Though admittedly, that wasn't always the plan, because as it turns out, I'm neither creative nor talented, and I can't dunk for shit. In this video, we're gonna go behind the scenes of this photo book and see how it was made. Is photo book the right word? Photo series, project, zine, waste of time, pathetic, garbage, whatever you wanna call it. I was looking to photograph something intriguing, if not a bit abstract, that centered itself in frame and called attention to the space around it. So my original idea was to composite a 3D render of something called a mandel bulb on top of some backgrounds that I had shot. For that I drew heavy inspiration from one of my favorite movies, Annihilation. <sighs> Fuck yeah, I love this movie! This has been a reminder to always rewind your film before you unload it. Obviously, that's not how the final product ended up. I wasn't very happy with how um, the few shots that I had completed had turned out, so I hit pause and uh, decided to reimagine and reconstruct the project. So, as it turns out, the original technique that I was going to use to uh, light the 3D render based off of the image was a uh, technique called, you guessed it, image-based lighting. It required me to shoot a follow-up image of a chrome ball to capture a 180 degree view of the environment. Yeah, that'll be some quality footage. You're so creative. I know. Unintentionally, these photos actually turned out to be pretty cool, in my opinion, so I figured maybe there was something I could do with them. Let that be a lesson to everyone out there. Whatever ideas you have are probably f***ing stupid, and you should always have a plan B. I chose to shoot film because it's just the bee's testicles. I had uh, scoped out some locations around my neighborhood as well as some possible locations around Pasadena and uh, I just went out and shot them. Pretty simple. Originally trying to focus the camera on nothing and use my imagination to place the 3D object which was the original idea was uh, definitely a challenge in itself. shot with my Mamiya 7 on several different days trying to gather some worthy plates.
tried out several different lighting styles, uh, mostly leaning towards artificial lighting because I was shooting Cinestill 800T, which is balanced for tungsten light. Additionally to the Cinestill 800T, I shot a roll of black and white because I thought it might be an interesting style to explore. this turns out. I chose the Mamiya 7 because the lens sharpness is straight up out of this world. I mean, come on. That camera's sexy as fuck too. That was it? That's the shutter. That's the shutter? <laughs> so as I ultimately just ended up using the Chrome HDRI balls, all I had to do was merge the two photos together and I did that in a compositing program called Nuke. And that's about that. Um, it took me several weeks to complete this project because I changed my idea halfway through and most of the work was on the back end. Hey, there's something in common with your mom. I don't know if I would do another project like this anytime soon. The actual like shooting part was kind of lackluster. Shooting vacant spaces, trying to imagine something in that spot was uh, not really fun. It wasn't until the series was completed uh, printed and in my hands that I actually felt some sort of emotion towards this project. But then again, I'm generally dead inside anyway.